Hello friends, in this video we will discuss about the uh, uh, stock removal strategy in SAP warehouse management. So in our previous video we have discussed this thing. We have performed uh, the uh, put away strategy. And, uh, in this video we will discuss how to how to process the uh, stock removal strategy. So, in the previous video, we have uh, we have uh, gone through this uh, field. There is a storage section, check active. So, this section need to have a tick mark so that uh, it will be uh, entered into the uh, uh, strategy. That is uh, that is either of the uh, pick up, put away, or uh, stock removal strategy. So, let me show the uh, field. I enter into the navigation. So I enter into the logistics execution into the warehouse management and into the strategies. So we have performed the put away strategy in the last video and now I am entering into the stock removal strategy. So I execute the first that is a defined FIFO strategy. So let me uh, let me go with this uh, the storage type zero zero one in my uh, warehouse number ber. So we have maintained. So you can see that the storage section check active. That is performed in the previous video for the uh, put away strategy, and now we are in the uh, stock removal strategy. So we have a stock removal strategy F. Uh, we'll see what is F. And uh, F corresponds to first in, first out. Okay, let, let me have the same configuration here, and uh, we have a full stock removal required requirement uh, active return stock to the same storage bin so these these things have been uh, uh, manually updated here so i'm not doing anything any changes here so we have uh, we have also marked a tick mark in uh, the shelf storage also let me uh, let me show that Here the storage section check is active in the shelf storage also. So let me have uh, let me go to the new new session. Let me confirm where is this. So we will uh, look into some stock in our storage bin and when, then we will. Uh, make the uh, stock removal process this is my finished material type ok let me go on with uh, this let me uh, view the stock where the stock is available and then we will uh, proceed with the stock removal strategy So I can, uh, you can see that uh, the stock is available with the high rack storage and uh, self storage. So let me uh, let me select it and uh, just click on here. Just click on here and click on uh, Bing stock. You can see the material ten quantities available with uh, uh, this location. Just I just go back. Just click here and uh, check the pin stock. And uh, in this storage bin, there is a uh, 10 stock it's available in uh, in my uh, warehouse. So let me uh, let me leave the screen also. 
and now we will go on with the stock removal strategy i just move on with the material material master okay uh, okay we we know that uh, there are uh, two uh, two locations the material is this material is available with the uh, two stocks uh, sorry the this material is available in uh, two locations two different locations this is uh, high rack storage and this is shelf storage so if i uh, process the uh, stock removal process so the system where will the system default defaultly picks the material so let us try with the goods issue to the uh, delivery note so before processing that le let me go on to the new screen so just enter into the navigation so i left the screen previously viewed the screen as it is just go on with the new screen so uh, we are now going to process with the uh, movement type 601 uh, but uh, before going to this movement type uh, we need to uh, we need to have a configuration uh, i don't know whether you have remembered that is uh, uh, those who are following our video from the from the beginning uh, should remember that let me show it let me show the, show the thing um, uh, it is in uh, here it is yes, it is in interfaces and uh, this define movement types in this not in this let me sorry friends not uh, not in interfaces it is an activities uh, are defined movement types here this thing so uh, now what we are going to do is we have we are uh, going to process with the delivery note so the movement type is this one 261 goods issue to the uh, sorry this this is not goods issue to the delivery note so here you can see here 601 the moment at 601 corresponds to the goods issue to the delivery note so we are uh, we are now perform we are now going to perform the uh, uh, stock removal process by means of a uh, delivery note so i just go into this moment type so this is a different uh, warehouse number so re remember friends before going to any move on type we need to uh, we, we need to check these entries whether it is uh, correctly maintained or not so that's why i have uh, left these portions uh, uh, in my previous videos so that we can we could we can recall this once uh, we, we enter into any uh, move on type we'll recall those uh, informations so that's why uh, i'm processing this I just select this and uh, so I just select this and uh, click on zoom icon so you can see here so here the destination path here is this is wrong so I just uh, change it to this 916 the shipping area deliveries so this thing we should uh, we should configure you know that uh, these things from 901 to triple line so these things had to be uh, configured here and, and not the, the storage type this so that we have uh, configured and uh, the other things are you can see the shipment type of stock removal uh, the requirement type is sales document okay it responds to the sales document okay but without the sales order also we can process the delivery uh, let me show that thing also in this this video and uh, manual TO creation is not allowed okay we won't like want to create the transfer order uh, manual TR creation is allowed okay automatic we will we will see in the uh, next video that's automatic uh, transfer order okay 
let me save it so this move on type I'm going to process this process okay I, I leave this screen also I just move on to the next tab okay just we, we will uh, continue with the VL01 N0 sorry O which means outbound delivery I am going to create the outbound delivery without order reference okay without order reference and not with the sales order I just want to create the output delivery without order reference so the delivery type is LO that is delivery without reference I'm not uh, linking any uh, sales order here okay just enter key click your keep on enter so I just enter my customer name the material number so this material we are now processing so we have 10 quantities I just show you 10 quantities in uh, both the uh, locations I just uh, make the delivery quantity as 10 and the planned goods issue date is today's date okay I just keep on enter so you can see the uh, all the uh, all the other uh, credentials have been updated so just go to the picking just enter the plant and the storage location just uh, click on enter you can see the status will be changed the overall warehouse management status the warehouse management transfer order is required and E corresponds to uh, not yet processed okay we will just save it save the delivery and that will process with the uh, transfer order in in that transfer order we will uh, uh, we will manage the uh, stock removal strategy so for that purpose we are doing this process so let me, uh, let me save this and uh, process that so from the uh, from the past videos we have uh, learned how to create the transfer order for uh, uh, put away strategies and now we are uh, moving on to the stock removal strategy so let me change the order delivery has been created let me change it and uh, okay this is the uh, outbound delivery just now created I just uh, change it okay here I just go on with the transfer order okay. this is the delivery number just now created just click on enter the transfer order here okay just uh, I will uh, make put stock remo removal process in foreground so you can see that uh, no uh, no pin has been uh, selected okay it means uh, the system does not uh, uh, does not selected uh, this storage type and, uh, and uh, not selected this one and also this one and the system uh, system is now confused with the strategy Okay, but I can uh, I can manually select here that uh, the storage type 001 or 002 because both these storage types have uh, uh, 10 quantities in both these uh, uh, storage type but uh, if I okay let me show it if I make 002 just click on enter you can see that the storage bin we have a stock in this in this shell storage you can know here in this uh, bin we have a 10 stock so that stock that is updated here but uh, but I want I want to perform the uh, put away sorry the stock removal strategy here I just I will not uh, perform this I just go back okay let me uh, let me move on to my uh, material master so is this the material I just So this material yes just click on this views we just open the uh, arrows management views no need to enter the storage type here I just click on enter 
so here you can see the stock removal storage stock store okay stock removal process so let me uh, let me have a entry what what the entry should be so if I want this high rack storage to be uh, selected I just want to define this HRL here just one with the uh, high rack storage so friends we have uh, already defined these things in my in our previous video kindly refer it only those who have uh, followed those steps will know what is the storage sub indicator so these things have been uh, uh, these uh, these parameters have been assigned uh, or linked to the storage type so I just link this storage type indicator and the stock this stock removal strategies and uh, storage section indicator okay, let me save it this is the only uh, uh, only uh, configuration required and this and with this the system defaultly picks this thing the Cyrax storage so let me let me uh, let me do it let me do the uh, uh, transfer order once again the take order is LT03 and this is the delivery uh, just now we have, we have performed I just go on and to enter when I click the uh, okay it is not uh, so it it end up with the error the it shows the data for storage type search is not defined and uh, uh, defined so let me clear it so the, the error states that the third sequence is not configured so let me uh, move on to the next screen new screen so we have uh, we have maintained only for the put away process and not for uh, uh, stock removal process so let me uh, let me configure that too in the logistics execution we can see so this this video will will be a refreshing video for use so we have recalled the previously learned concepts so not in this strategies you can see the storage section search so here just want to determine search sequence so let me uh, the storage search is 001 so what is this let me uh, let me move on to the next that is It, it is not in this I just go on to the first that is activate storage type search so in this I just go on to this storage type search so here only the entry uh, storage type indicator let me uh, okay you can see that uh, every uh, what all this entry e corresponds to put away and not for a uh, stock removal so let me let me have a new one this thing Specifically, we are processing this this entry only. I just copy it and I change with the stock removal process. The same uh, indicator HRL and uh, this thing. And uh, first first priority, I'm going with the high rack storage, and the second priority, I'm going with the shelf storage. The stock is not available here it will go on to the next so I just save this thing and now we can process just move back okay let me go on to the transfer order just click on enter you can see here the storage section has been uh, Automate automatically populated here you can see here and this is the uh, uh, storage bin you can see from this 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 in this storage bin only the uh, stock is available so it is defaultly populated here so I just click on enter click on save the transfer order will be created So you can see the transfer order is created. Let me confirm it. 
just click on enter okay, it is currently okay let me let me uh, lt12 okay, let me save it so that uh, the material will move from 916 to uh, sorry from 001 to 916 so the transfer order is created let me let me show the stock once again I just move back we'll refresh it once again please click on enter okay you can see here the stock from the uh, st storage bin 001 has been moved to 916 that is a shipping area deliveries so from here the goods will be shipped to my customer so that's it with the stock removal process and strategies so kindly friends um, so kindly work it out twice or thrice so that the concepts will be uh, clear for you so you have to spend some time or uh, more more the time you spend uh, in learning these things the more knowledge you can get uh, so I hope this video will be uh, uh, make you understand the concepts so thank you friends for watching this video we will see in the next video with a new concept thank you